Welcome to the special edition of the Western Officiating Development Partnership. Throughout the season, the branch has put on special nights in the arenas where we bring junior and senior officials together. We spend some time together, we have a question and answer session, we watch a game together. Here's some highlights from a recent event that we had. Hockey Calgary likes to take this opportunity to give back to our young officials who are helping us out with our minor hockey leagues. We want them to know that their time and efforts are appreciated. It's just a great way to keep in the game, even when I'm not playing hockey, so great fun. I just started because I love the game of hockey. The nature is just amazing. I love the attitude. It's just a great sport in general. Well, I just love the game of hockey. I've been playing it my whole life, and uh, you know, I've been raised in a family where I've been fortunate enough to, to play the game, and I thought I might as well give back to the community and uh, have some fun while doing it. Uh, when the coaches yell at you or the, fan, or the parents, and they start getting mad if you messed up a call, but then you just gotta go through it, then it's fine. The biggest value that I, I find these learning is conflict management or dealing with stressful situations. Handling himself uh, around adults, he's, a, he's still a, a youth, so it, it, it's teaching him how to manage those skills. So we host this officials appreciation every year here in, in conjunction with the Hitmen. They sponsor the league with the tickets. We have about 200 officials that come to the event. We have lunch, we have WHL officials come upstairs and we do a hot stove lounge with them and a question and answer period for all the young kids. Do you have any recommendations for post-secondary education or if someone who wants reffing as a career? Okay. Reffing is a passion that definitely the five of us have and many of you guys in the room have, but uh, your, your schooling is key. I mean, yeah. if uh, if you're willing to move up, you're, you're going to get asked for opportunities to go to different tournaments and, and that's where you're going to have to decide on whether or not you want to ask for exams to be preferred. Oh, I have a, I have a BCom degree where I, I did it in four and a half years. Um, I, I work with my, with my professors to, to have my exams deferred when I had opportunities to go to different tournaments and, and things like that, but I never, I never ever um, put school on the back burner. Re Reffing was a passion and I, and I, gave, I give my heart to it every time I'm on the ice. There may be a point that it, that it comes to an end, so my backup plan is uh, to be successful in the business aspect here in Calgary, so definitely uh, recommend going to school. Do the things that are within your control and your power in order to set yourself up for success, right? So know the rules, be prepared to be in as good a physical performer shape as you possibly can. Those are the things that really separate yourself from everybody else, right? So, you know, Tom kind of said, you know, we're all a team here for sure, but you're also competing against each other as well. Do, do the best job you can do to the best of your ability and uh, always treat disrespect and respect. I know we kind of preach that in the clinics that we all teach, but uh, I think that's really important and just keep a calm tone when you're talking to people. Yeah, for me, I guess highlight, it would probably be working the World U17 Championships last season. Um, in that tournament, we had a semi-final game that was Canada-US and ended up going overtime. So that was a pretty cool moment for me. I think this is a super opportunity for these young kids to see what could be part of their future, what life is, has in store for them should they pursue officiating in a, in a further capacity. Truly a great event. We have more of these events coming up within our branches. We certainly encourage all our officials, young and old, to get out to these events. It's a great opportunity to meet officials, to learn from our officials, and just really embrace the community that we are.